Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters episode number 17. In this episode we should be doing our TLAM strike on Yulin. Now we were detected by this aircraft as soon as I loaded in. I think we remember, or you may remember, I was actually, that aircraft was over here last time and I was like, well we'll probably be caught by it, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, just go ahead and catch me. We'll see if there's anything around. We don't want to be caught leaving this place because Shallow waters, the t -land missions, it's like kind of a recipe for disaster. So let's just sneak in here. Hopefully from the angle which puts us closest to the shallow water, or deep water. Um, it's hard to do. And what we're going to do is go ahead and load almost everything for the t -land strikes. Oh, I just can't get that right, can I? With the exception of a moss. And yeah, I think one torpedo has an emergency defense, one moss has an emergency defense. As soon as we see the coast is clear, I plan to switch this out for a T-LAM, launch the moss, launch the T-LAMs, and then get up on our horse and get the hell out of there. Because it's going to be, I mean, we have a very strong stuff but I don't think that matters if the water is only like 200 300 feet deep I think it's I'm not sure so I believe that the layers are much more difficult in shallow waters because basically uh, the water mixes more I think it's basically more turbulent or like the I don't know I can't I can't describe it I'm not an expert but somehow it actually makes sense to me that um, there be like a more chaotic environment if the, you know, it's kind of like if you moved your finger in a really sh shallow dish versus uh, the same size container, but if it was really deep, it wouldn't make as much of a difference. I don't know. Maybe. I think. <laughs> okay, well, let's enough babbling about pseudoscience. Let's get into this terrible mess of a situation. First thing I want to know is where are the aircraft? So my view of myself gives me a pretty nice view of what the hell's that? The city. We have a helicopter which does not have a view of the city, so that's good. And we have an airplane which does not have a view of the city. Okay, alright, so now let's get up to tow depth. If we, I mean, uh, towed Depth. We have something coming from our Major western side, five, our left zero, port side. Five. We're going to try to get shallow enough that we can use our towed array. And actually, I'm going to start leaving right immediately. Kid. There's One, no reason four, why we need to be nine. closing in any further. The T-Lambs are good for <laughs> tens of, tens upon tens of thousands of yards, and we're probably, what, at... Yeah, we're not even... <laughs> we can get much further away than this. We just want to make sure that maybe... Contact bearing two, oh, yeah. Six, so, three, we're good already. Sierra, our tow array must be already working. There it is. Con sonar, new contact bearing, zero, seven, so we can identify one, these. It be useful two. to do. Um, we're still getting pinging coming from an unknown contact off to the west-northwest. Anyways, we're deep enough, the reason why I stopped is because we're deep enough, apparently, or shallow enough, I should say, that apparently our toad ray is active. I wonder if it's 180 feet you need, because it seemed to come alive... Maybe 150? I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's, let's get to identifications here. And actually, we can get this thing pretty darn well. Well, that's not a good thing. That's probably a bad thing. And what's worse is it's a, a Luda. It's only slightly wor it's only slightly better that it's not a Luda three. Con sonar. It's definitely Sierra not great. Is classified as I actually escort. thought the Ludas had Con sonar. Sierra yeah, I was seeing. So the Luda threes have a toad, but sorry, I want to correctly identify this. As a Luda. Con sonar. Sierra one. Is classified as so escort. I thought I told us to come around. Right to Maybe I didn't. One, four, six, helm I. There's a nice... I don't know if you can see it. There's a little shallow outline here. There's like a shallow outline here. 
and deep water is what seems like forever away, but we'll try to make our way as far over there as we can. I'm not like, um, I'm not anxious to start launching my T-Lambs. I feel like we should take the time to figure out where these things are. The main thing which is going to kill us is aircraft. There we go. It's a Jungu. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as So we do have to actually keep an eye out for aircraft on most unfortunately. And maybe even an ear out. I probably should have turned off the music. Let's see if I can can I do that? No way to control settings in game. Hmm. Always I mean not not spectacular, but I don't think the dev, the dev studio for this game is particularly big, so maybe they couldn't afford to do some of the normal things. But we can actually we actually could go up to periscope depth and see what we see. And although we're using our toe to rare right now, there's nothing to stop us from just really punching it, doing a ten knots, which would strain our toe to ray. But yeah, I mean we're completely undetectable. We know that there's one other something or other, but it's if it's not audible right now, then it must be pretty darn far away. The thing which would worry me if we are getting pinged from this direction. So far we're not. I kind of want to look out here to make sure we're not going to get hit by a helicopter or something. It's going to make it hard to, for us to see the pings, but let's try to do it this way. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, two, new contact. seven, three, designated Sierra, three. Okay, we are getting this other one now. What are you? Okay, you're Jungu three. Con, sonar, Sierra, and three. This Jungu, we know a fair amount about it. 61% solution already. And we're getting a better solution on the Luda, probably because of our reverse course, which I think gives you the best information for Team A, 180 degree turn. Or it might be reciprocal angles, like up left, and then down left for something which is exactly off to the left. I don't remember what exactly gives you the best information. Or maybe those are equivalent, I don't know. Or different for different situations, maybe it depends on what the, the object's doing. Uh, anyway, whatever the situation is, I'm just obviously not thrilled to be in such shallow water. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it, let's go over here, maybe you can see it best. There's like this little shape, this little like built-in goofy shape and I I moved my monitor I'm the actual window this is windowed mode for me um, although it's 1080 um, so you can actually see this design I mean here you can see it over here like why is there a change so it makes the I really wish they wouldn't do that now they probably do that to like simulate looking on the viewing screens not getting perfect information from it I don't know maybe Maybe it's just a pattern they put over for fun. But this really, really hurts my ability to determine shallow and deep water. I wish I could just greatly increase the contrast. Like, get almost like a heat map. Get me red if it's really shallow, and, you know, something crazy, and blue if it's, you know, all the way to blue if it's, like, 2,000 feet. Am I hearing music which is supposed to startle me, or is that a helicopter? That is the one downside with... Okay, so you cannot see that city. So, must not... Must not be going the right direction. Yeah, we're. I think we're just really close. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of here. Now, since there's no... I don't... Think there's going to be any reason to be using? Yeah, we're actually have a pretty good solution on these guys. There's no way we're going to launch a torpedo that far. What we could do is, if we wanted to, 
we could be launching TASMs if we really wanted to, but I think we're going to be okay just doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and reload. And while we're doing that, we're going to be making more noise anyways. I'm going to kick us up to 10 knots. Eight turns for one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero knots. And they're not going to be able to hear anything, so work. Not worried about that. We just need to worry about aircraft. And we're not going to capitate at 76 either. We could capitate if we were at periscope depth, but we're not. Just begin our escape as quickly as possible, and yeah, then we'll, what we'll probably do is launch this, immediately reload a TLAM, and when we're ready, we'll launch all those. Here's the edge of that. Yeah, we're going about through the middle. So this is a very tense mission. I just, especially on the hardest difficulty, we're not supposed to be able to take a torpedo or many torpedoes, whatever. And these missions are just darn hard. You, you kind of want to just do it right. Sense of satisfaction of being of having done it correctly. <laughs> All right. Ring ship for ultra quiet. Go ultra quiet again. We actually have this Jangu completely. And the Luda completely. We lost the Jangu 3, but not a big deal. Yeah, that Jangu is going to be a problem. She will probably get a torpedo head in her direction as soon as we uh, do our launches here. And because she is the closest target, I will launch my Moss in her direction. Okay. Now some people ha do have the opinion that you shouldn't launch your Moss until after you're detected. I want this Moss a little bit away from my boat so that when they do, if they do launch at it, they are launching torpedoes that are at least 4,000 yards away from me. <laughs> so we'll launch and then we'll reload and as soon as that one, even before it's completely done, we'll <sighs> we'll start launching our two lambs. As soon as I right click this we're, we're committed, we're going. Okay. Here we go. Two Hi, sir. And the very first thing I'm going to reload is another moss, as soon as we get all this going on. I'll probably do it in tube one, <laughs> just so I, it starts reloading immediately. So we have a little bit of time now where we can just sit here and wet ourselves in anticipation. <sighs> can you tell I'm like nervous? <laughs> Not really nervous, but... I'm on that I'm in that analytical mindset where I'm trying to figure out all the different things which could go wrong. We haven't actually recovered the Sierra 3 contact. I think I'm just going to kick us up to like 15 whatever we can get to without cavitating right away. We'll lose the toad, I don't care. I feel like dodging torpedoes is just got to be a thing which can happen immediately. Oh, and it looks like we're good to go. So, here we go. Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot two three, I sir. Shoot two six, I sir. 
Give me that moss. Pick us up. Make turns for Drop us to one fifty. Zero not maneuvering eye. Drop us to two hundred actually. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two nine zero. Contact faded. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing. Zero, um, that's eight, eight. contact faded. That's not my T lamb. We're gonna have some company very soon, but I think it is going after. I think that's our launches right there. Unless that's where this thing just launched from. So get us up. <laughs> Put us up to 15 very quickly. Not maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five. We're probably about to have some presence. And oh, we got some hits. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're away. Okay, we really could use that. Mod oh my god, we have one directly ahead of us. Oh shoot. Oh shucks. Okay, torpedo in the water. Okay, change heading. Come right to two zero eight helm I. Give me another moss, and then give me another moss. <laughs> okay, this one might stick. That one might stick. Come right to two two seven helm I. All right, kick us up to twenty. Make turns for two zero not maneuver and. Moss out. Con helm, steady course. Oh, Sonar Brewie's out. Oh man, it is just getting crazy in here. Oh, those were depth charges. Never. What the hell? I don't know what's going on. So far we've managed to evade... Oh, I don't think we're going to evade that one. Oh my god, this is crazy. If we go any more, we're going to cavitate. I prefer not to make ourselves so obvious. Come left to two, zero, we seven, need to get some five. distance from that moss. If that thing catches it. We need to be far enough away. We're not going to be far enough away, I don't think. Let's just present a very narrow one, profile. Eight, four, helm, I. Just give me due south. Oh, I think this thing is circle... circling. Come so right never mind. Two, Come two, back. Zero, seven, helm, I. Or it's already found something. Con, torpedo room. Two, two, ready. Yeah, that thing is circling, unfortunately. It's going to have two choices. It's either going to get the moss, or it's going to get us. And if it was an active one, which I imagine it is, it should go for us. We're a much bigger profile. If we're lucky. If there's some luck in us today, and I don't think so, because it is turning back. Um, yeah. Well, we have another moss ready. Let's get another torpedo. This thing is just was well deployed. Now, it can't have that long of range, because it was rocket, it was dropped by rocket. And I haven't seen anything, there's an explosion, I hope that was depth charges, because I really hope that uh, stupid bear is running out of depth charges already. And there's a lot of ordnance, I imagine we can't. <laughs> leave yet, but hey, mission accomplished so far. Land strike complete. And there's that one. Fantastic. That was the one that was closing for sure. Still a lot of torpedoes in the water, but so far so good. Yeah, definitely something off of our southeast. And they put it, yes, they put the sonar buoy in the wrong spot. These guys are so far away, I don't think we need to worry about them too soon. Okay, we have Torpedo. Oh man, I think this is just so far so good. Amazingly good. 
and just hanging at 200 feet I think that's when you can you don't cavitate by the way <laughs> we'll go down to 201 202 even maybe even drop down to 203 before it's finished just to make sure <laughs> but that's the I think the crossover point for 20 knots is um, 200 knots I didn't get to see the damage we got to see that the explosions pretty far away but obviously I was a little bit preoccupied about what we're doing with our boat Depth under keel, not a lot, but we're not even below 50. Yeah, we're close though. <laughs> 67, it's very shallow here. I'm only worried about the 50 feet because we may want to uh, have a little bit of wiggle room if and start coming up. Oh, I saw another torpedo enter. Yes, and that, I think that is from the air, airplane, that is so perfect. That is like... The fact that the bear is dropping all of its payload on a moss is Call just... Torpedo room. Two, one, ready. It's very, very, very important. I think our survival is critically tied to the lack of ordnance on aircraft. Lack of remaining ordnance. Yeah, it really thinks I'm over there. It may be worthwhile in a little bit to come back up to 70-ish feet, deploy our towed array, and figure out where everyone is now. And I think that's probably going to be around the time that we end up launching a few fish to clear the way. I thought I heard a helicopter, which scares the pants off me. We do have a moss, so we have one emergency backup. I saw a splash there, that was probably a buoy. Behind us, she was over here? No, that was not a buoy. Or, <laughs> that was a torpedo. Wow, our mosses were perfect so far. They both, uh, they, everyone's taking the bait. Where am I compared to this? Please don't be close, please don't be close. I don't think I'm... Oh, yes, he's got, He's after the moss. The moss is, I think, right around here. Well, I can't see it. But... Con, torpedo room, tube, eight, ready. Okay, we have two moss. Okay, we're, we're good. So let's go ahead and slow down now. Rig shift for ultra quiet. Come back up to 50 feet. We'll stop at around 100. And let's see where everyone is. So far, we've done an excellent job getting the hell out of here. <laughs> we know that these guys were about equidistant. So, we're probably going to need to launch two fish at the same time. Come left to... One, nine, two, helm, I. Okay, let's pull straight, though. Con, sonar, read, Got him. contact on, Sierra, two, bearing, zero, seven. Oh, that eight. is not who, that's not the junk. So this other guy to the, we have no idea who this guy is, where he is. None. Oh, this is, is this one heading our way? Hopefully circling. Come up a little bit more. I'm a little nervous. Are we not deep enough? Are we sure the toad array is working? I liked the idea of just getting the hell out of Dodge. Just going flank speed even. <laughs> we made a lot of good ground. But now I'm very nervous about this active pinging. Those I'm not worried about. So I'm sure that we could continue to find. But this guy is southeast. I don't know where he is. Tempted to loss, uh, launch a defensive moss preemptively. There's only, I mean, there's one way we could guarantee <laughs> that we get him, and that's <laughs> if we went to the surface. <laughs> I mean, periscope depth. We know right where we need to look.
but at the same time that might reveal our location so much so that um, he would launch immediately against us and we'd be dead. There's no, there's no place to hide in this water. Well, I think we're going to have to scoot on off. If we don't hear him, I'm uh, hoping that he's not close enough for it to matter. And I don't want to go slow because I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, still weapons and aircraft nearby. In fact, that aircraft... Oh, gosh. That helicopter's right there. Come left to one, eight, nine, helm, I. Okay, next contact. Fine. Where, where did this button come from? <laughs> Oh my god, it's coming right for us. Look, if it pops down right now, we're going. We're going. Make turns. One, zero, nine. Maneuvering us. Oh my god. Get ready. Can't not know where we are. Last one out. Please make it difficult. Me. One, five, not maneuvering eye. Oh God. It was good while it lasted, but it didn't last long enough. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We'll take our damage. We have to watch out for that aircraft. So it looks like the aircraft coordinate, but nothing else does. Passing 200 feet. And they're going to go after the moss. That moss is... No? Can't tell what they're doing. Not exactly sure. Come left to one nine four helm I. So two cavitation sig uh, signatures for this airplane. Hopefully he doesn't guess correctly. I lost him too. Pretty dangerous. Okay, there he is. On helm, steady course. Let's fix this rudder. I, although it looks like I still have rudder control. Con, knuckle formed. I can even form knuckles. So what does it mean that the rudder is damaged? 87%. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That depth bomb must not have been too close to us. Con, maneuvering. I'm Maybe actually just going to drop down below 20 because I think we zero. won't cavitate. Con, sonar, no longer cavitating. I think I'd rather... Let the moss take the blame. Gonna get some tasms loaded as well, since we got nothing better to do, right? Con maneuvering, making turns for two, zero, not. Okay, so far so good. Those two pings are not the ones I'm. That's the one I'm worried about, but it looks faint. Chest aircraft nearby. We're actually okay. We're not doing too bad. Rudders will be controlled eventually. It looks like planes are destroyed. Where was this hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I'm very, very happy that didn't affect our propellers. <laughs> I've had a T-Land mission before where your my propulsion was destroyed and it just got it's, what a disaster. There's no way you're making it out. I think the helicopter chose the wrong thing. The Moss launch was... Whew, a lifesaver. At least, at least potentially a lifesaver in the end. And that aircraft's bugged off? I mean, they really, they went after the wrong target. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. I can hear them, but they're not near me. Con, our rudder is 
been repaired. Oh, there he is. Con, torpedo room, two, five, right? Yeah, they're dropping... Oh, this is so cool. They dropped it right on the... They don't, they don't know where we are. So amazing. <gasps> that was a Zhang Wei. Okay. We did it. Well done on a successful land strike. Initial reports indicate extensive damage was sustained by the target. New orders to be sent on this downlink soon. Well, I know I could have stuck around and sunk something, but on elite difficulty, I don't think you F around. So, <laughs> get the hell out of there. Yulin hit. Military installations in and around Yulin, China, have suffered extensive damage in what witnesses have called a massive cruise missile strike. Numerous uncontrolled fires remain burning nearly a day after the attack. Spokesmen from China have cried out, accusing the U.S. leadership and officers of war crimes and other atrocities against civilian populations in the wake of recent attacks. Pacific Command officials have dismissed the claims, calling the accusations nothing more than Chinese propaganda. Well, you, you might be able to make that claim pretty fairly, and most, most people would believe it. Intelligence data indicates the enemy plans an amphibious landing at Taipei, Taiwan. Hmm. That would be really interesting to see. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine Taiwan actually defending itself. They have some pretty decent military hardware themselves. A task force of landing ships is leaving Qingdao now. You must intercept and destroy this force before the landing occurs. Ouch. Don't they know I'm damaged? Well, let's get some sense into this ordering. Oops, let's get this one. And two moss. And we only have these two moss left, so handle with care. Okay, so they're leaving. Okay, from up there, I don't care if I'm detected. By the way, damage control, is everything fixed? Can you guys work on maybe getting the planes back? I don't know what that means that they're not there, but... There's nobody in here. So we're just gonna... What happened? We're back in China. U.S. Navy Sea Operation has made successful landfall in China. What? Marines are reported to have established a beachhead, but no official statements have yet been made. Analysts assume the Pentagon still considers the situation too volatile for any solid assessments. What the hell? The U.S. Navy now holds a firm advantage in the region. The competition in the region is currently in the U.S. Navy's favor, which in turn has a direct impact on the possibility for a decisive resolution. What the hell? We landed in China. Oh my god, we landed in China. Well, I realize, I just realized this mission's already gone. I mean, this video's already gone on 33 minutes. It's a good place to bring it to a close here. Um, before the next mission, which is probably going to be another very long one in shallow water and nerve-wracking and all kinds of stuff like that. But I can't believe we've actually made landfall in China. If this were to happen, I just can't imagine the situation. If the only, like, selling point or arguing point for the Chinese is they want control of the Spratleys or the Par Paracel Islands, and anything like that, I feel like as soon as the U.S. put a presence on Chinese homeland mainland they would immediately say okay <laughs> we give a, that, that's it i mean the u.s has done it <laughs> that is insane but i mean hey we we went into Shan, Shantou. we we hit that and we hit Yulin. we neutralized some key facilities in the area i'm imagining opening up hong kong which if this is year 2000 remember this is barely beyond the point when it was transferred back to the Chinese from the British. So maybe, uh, you know, they didn't have any defensive, you know, capabilities there. And maybe if tensions were escalating a lot before this, maybe even years before, the U.S. already had like some secret system with the British. Yeah, I'm just role playing it, right? Well, imagine whatever you want, but that is... Hard to imagine how that would actually happen, though. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, you could land there, but how could you hold it? Just send the, the whole army. I mean, Hong Kong is a somewhat defendable position, but just ask the Chinese in World War II if they were able to hold it from the Japanese. The answer is no. Or the British um, were able to hold it from the Japanese. The answer is no. So, um, yeah, anyways, we'll call this video to a close here. I'll see you back for the next one where we'll try to defend Taiwan. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.